Hello students, welcome to yet another lesson with Mr. Mohana. It has been quite some time that I did not post any lessons on YouTube. So here we are again. Okay, for today's lesson, I am sharing with you a lesson on how to write a descriptive essay. Earlier, I have shared with you one essay on describing an event, another essay describing a place. And for today's lesson, we are going to look at how to describe a person. Alright, I'm going to start off with some tips on how to describe a person and then we are going to look at a sample essay. And after this lesson, I hope you can try out writing the essay on your own and show it to your teacher. So, let's get started with our lesson. Okay, firstly, let us see what a descriptive essay is. A descriptive essay describes a person, place, event or a thing in an in-depth and detailed manner. The aim of writing such, an, such essays is to make the reader feel and see certain things or certain thing, place or person from your perspective. So meaning to say you are reading a descriptive essay uh, written from the writer's perspective. So when you write a descriptive essay, it is important for you to give vivid description of the person or the place or the thing in your writing so that the reader will be able to understand your point of view of that uh, in that essay all right let us go to the next slide now you may ask when describing a person what can you describe right what can i describe when i describe a person so i've already listed a list of things that you can consider uh, when you're describing a person for example uh, if you have this question, what to describe when you're describing a person, you don't have an idea of what to describe, these are the things that you can uh, think about. First, you can describe the person's appearance. Second, manners. Third, character traits. And fourth, emotions. The fifth one is how does the person's actions affect others? And also, what do you feel about the person from your point of view? What do you feel about the person? Okay, so you may consider this, right? Now, let us look each of this idea one by one on what are the things that you can further extend if you are, de uh, if you are using these things to describe a person. Okay, now, if you are describing the appearance of the person, this can be one of the things that you can always start your essay with. You can always start your essay by describing the person's appearance. Okay, that would be a perfect way for you to get started when you are describing a person. Okay, so when you're describing the appearance, what are the things that you can consider? Uh, you can talk about the person's facial features, you can talk about his height, weight, hair color, clothes, and so on. Okay, so these are the things that you can consider when you're describing a person. You can continue by describing the person's most common or the most known manners and develop further using this trait. Now, uh, for example, you can, can think about this person whether he's a talkative person or is he an alcoholic or a smoker. Now, you can consider all these things uh, as his manners and put it in your descriptive essay. Now, you see when you, uh, you can also further extend your idea on describing this person using this kind of manners that this person has as a strength or weakness of the person in your descriptive essay. Right? Okay, let us move on to the next one. Okay, character traits. Okay, and describing character traits help us to know more about the person from the writer's perspective. Now, consider the most significant trait and elaborate on that. So this is very important for you to identify when you're describing a person. What kind of person that you are describing besides his manners? What are the character traits that you can consider having in your descriptive essay? Okay, and you can always use these character charts. Okay, now if uh, if you go to www.writerswrite.co, you can get this list of uh, negative and positive character traits. Okay, I have uh, here a list of 175 negative 
and positive corrected rates here. This is a list that you can always refer to when you are writing a descriptive essay describing a person. Or in any essay, for example, if you are writing a narrative and in that narrative you need to describe a particular character, you can use this character trait chart to actually develop the idea on describing the characters. Now, you can further add colors to your descriptive writing by describing the person's emotional state. Okay, now uh, the person you describe can be in one of the four categories that, sh uh, that is shown in on the screen. Now, for example, the person can be a choleric, which means bad tempered or irritable, or you can say the person could be a phlegmatic, someone who is unemotional. And also you can say melancholic or sanguine. Okay, melancholic means uh, feeling or expressing pensive sadness. Or sanguine means opt or optimistic or positive. Now, if you see, uh, the person that you are describing in your essay could be in one of these four categories. And if you can definitely identify uh, in which emotional state the person is, you can actually reuse the vocabulary related to this emotional state of the person to extend the idea further. Okay, this is a chart that I actually downloaded from the internet. So you can actually go online and just uh, look at look for this kind of chart so that you know what, which emotional state you can put your corrector and what are the ideas that you can actually use to develop your corrector. Either it's a sanguine, choleric, phlegmatic or melancholic. Okay, now let us go to... So this is the task I would like to share with you today. Describe a person whom you thought would be a nice person but turned out to be otherwise. I repeat, describe a person whom you thought would be a nice person but turned out to be otherwise. Let us look at the introduction part. Okay, so this is the first paragraph. Let us look how it is elaborated. Everything about the new teacher, Miss Hannah, screamed demureness and gentility. It was a pleasant change. We had taught the famous dragon lady of the school teaching staff, Miss Lara, was now being replaced by a petite lady who looked as if she had walked out of a closet from the Victorian era. From her horn rimmed glasses to her shy manner, she was the epitome of the bullyable teacher, we thought. We grinned as we thought of the good time that we were going to have in class with her. Okay, so this is the first paragraph. Now, if you look at this, par uh, the first paragraph, I started uh, by describing the teacher. Okay, uh, her character trait. Okay, I added her character trait. And then uh, her, uh, how she looks, what are the things that she wear. Okay, her horn rim glasses, her clothes the Victor from Victorian era. Okay, and now if you notice, this essay has been developed in simple past tense. Okay, now if you look at the rubric given to you, it requires you to write about someone you thought was a nice person but turned out otherwise. So, it's your past experience. That is why I have written this essay in past tense. Right? Now, let us look at the next paragraph. The principal introduced Miss Hannah as a fresh graduate from one of the local university, a, a fact which further established her in our minds as an easy pushover. The principal warned us against playing pranks on her to which we all exhibited slight shock at such a possibility. Inwardly, we were laughing at how gullible all teachers were. However, we were not to have the last laugh. Okay, so if you look at this paragraph, uh, I did not describe much about Miss Hannah here. It's just adding some, uh, some a little bit about her background and some character traits okay and about teachers okay so this is the second paragraph the principal introduced miss hannah as a fresh graduate from one of the local universities a fact which further established her in, her in our minds as an easy pushover the principal warned us against playing pranks on her 
to which we all exhibited slight shock at such a possibility. Inwardly, we were laughing at how gullible all the teachers were. However, we were not to have the last laugh. Okay, now um, in this paragraph, the uh, I did not describe much about the teacher, but it's more like uh, ex uh, establishing relationship between the teacher and the students. What's going to happen next? Okay, so let us see what's going to happen next. Okay, the third paragraph. Once the principal had left the room, Miss Hannah literally stripped off her mask of civility and turned a cold eye on us. She listed the 92 class rules that she expected us to follow, all of them. We were stunned. No one had ever done to us on the first day of school, not even Miss Lara. Before we had even caught our breath from her long list of do's and don'ts, she launched straight into the lesson. Now, can you see the corrected trait that I'm trying to develop here? The corrected trait of the teacher, okay? Uh, by adding some uh, phrases like stripped off her mask of civility, turned a cold eye on us. It's not just one word that you, one word vocabulary that you can use to describe a person, you can bring in idioms and phrases to actually describe a person. Okay, that's what is done in this paragraph. Okay, and also how did people feel about the person's actions? For example, we were stunned. Okay, let us see what happens next. A subject as interesting as history began to weigh heavily on us as she lectured on the subject in an expressionless manner. Even our former teacher, Miss Lara's usually strict style of management, was tempered by her lively discussions of historical events with us. Our arms began to ache from the endless notes that she insisted we copied during the lesson. When the bell rang, we all heaved a collective sigh of relief. Okay, so if you look at this in this descriptive part, okay, I describe the teacher, okay, and also comparison. Okay, there's a comparison between Miss Lara and Miss Hannah here, how different these two people are, putting this to show how different Miss Hannah is from Miss Lara. It's a way of describing the person, okay, and how Hannah's, Miss Hannah's action is actually affecting the children in the class is also added here, right? So all these things that are added in this paragraph are literally related to Miss Hannah. So the idea is, although I've described Miss Lara here and I described how the students feel, actually all these are related to Miss Hannah, okay? It, it, it shows how, uh, actually shows what kind of teacher Miss Hannah is right okay let us go on move on to the next slide okay let us look at this paragraph this was only the beginning of a traumatic term only the classes with the misfortune of dealing with her knew her for the bad tempered teacher she was every other person in school thought that we were exaggerating the situation as she always looked the picture perfect of equanimity all found it hard to believe that she enjoyed throwing our books at us when she was displeased with the work which we had done. Okay, uh, if you look at this paragraph, I have also put in the corrected traits of uh, Miss Hannah. Okay, what kind of how, how bad her temper is, and then what are the things that she had done that affected the kids in the class. Okay, remember in, at the beginning of the lesson, I say the actions, okay, describe the actions of the character to show how it affects other people. So this is what I have put in here, right? Let us look at the next paragraph. Okay, let us look at this. Reasons for such displeasure range from having used a lighter shade of pencil lead to the margins being drawn too wide or narrow. When she thought that we were nodding off to sleep during her interminable lectures, she would viciously throw marker pens at us to wake us up. There was no room for any explanation. As long as she was angry, punishments were dealt out swiftly and mercilessly. 
So these ideas are developed to show how merciless Miss Hannah was. Let us look uh, what's next. Okay, let us look at this. Once the whole class had to stand for two hours without a break because a hapless girl had the audacity to sneeze loudly and incessantly in class. We could not wait for the end of the term to get a respite from her endless tyranny. Now, if you see, the ideas are all exaggerated, right? Now, this is what descriptive essay is about. If you want to bring out the real character of a person in writing, okay, we know that Miss Hannah is a fictional character, right? So, to bring out the character of the fictional character, uh, the, the character trait of this fictional character, you need to put some exaggerated ideas to, gi to, to give a picture to the people who are reading your essay how vicious a person can be, right? So here in this essay, I've described a vicious person. And when you're talking about a good person, if you're describing a good person or a good leader, so probably you need to put in an exaggerated idea to, to show how good a leader he is or she is. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, let us look at this. When the new semester began, we waited with dread for Miss Hannah to come to the class when it was time for history. However, much to our delight, it was our principal who waltzed into the classroom. She berated to us for the tough time that we had given Miss Hannah during the last semester. Apparently, Miss Hannah had suffered so much because of our mischievousness that she requested for an immediate transfer and it was granted. Alright, so this is the last paragraph and let us see how it ends. The principal expressed her disappointment and announced that Miss Lara would be back to teach us with immediate effect. The cheers that greeted her ears must have puzzled her, as Miss Lara's reputation as a slave driver was well known in the school. But we did not care as we realized that better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Okay, so this is how the essay ends. Now, um, we have seen how to describe a person in our lesson today. So I hope the lesson has benefited you. And what you can do after this is, you can think of a person, whether a person you admire or a person you like the, uh, you like the most, or a, a teacher, a favorite teacher. Or if you want to write a simplest essay, you can write about your mother. Try to use expressive ideas. Try to use as many descriptive words as possible to describe the person that you're writing about. And once you're done with your essay, you may share your essay with your teacher. Right, that is all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson as much as I did. And till I see you again, thank you. And have a great day. Bye.